Hi, this is a quick video showing how to install the Nikon Scan software on Windows 10. This PC is a Windows 10 PC running Windows 10 32-bit. And it's a fresh install, 32-bit operating system, Windows 10 Home. That's all the information. So what we have done, we have gone to the Nikon website and downloaded the Nikon Scan 4 software. What you need to do is go to Disk 1 and run Setup. If you try and run it now, it won't work. You need to run it in Compatibility mode. Right click, Troubleshoot Compatibility. Program Compatibility Troubleshooter will try and detect the issues. And you can try the recommended settings, but the easiest, quickest way is troubleshoot program, and then you can select this first option. The program worked in earlier versions of Windows, but won't install or run now. That's because it was designed for different versions of Windows, and Windows 10 didn't exist yet. So click Next, and click Windows XP. Click Next again. Click Test the program. That will start the setup program again here we have it do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device click yes and it will take us through the setup process to install Nikon Scan 4 click yes click next this folder does not exist should it create it yes please and it also says it's going to install the drivers for all of these scanners the LS4000 8000, 9000, LS40, CoolScan 4, the LS50, which is the CoolScan 5, and the 5000. So click next and wait for this to run. Okay. Do you want a shortcut on the desktop? Yes, please. Then we need to go through this color space wizard. And using the wizard, we're using Windows. Most monitors are sRGB. If you have a monitor that supports a different color space, such as Adobe RGB, then it will say so in the manual or will have said so when you bought the monitor. In the specifications, most monitors are sRGB. So, you can see a slight change in this picture on the side, but not a lot. So we're just going to go sRGB, click OK, and unfortunately we need to restart the PC. So this worked, we click Next, and it will save these settings <coughs> if we ever try that again. So I'm going to restart the PC. Okay, we are back in Windows. We can run the program. It says there's a missing folder. So it uses the default folder. We click OK. And then we have Nikon Scan. Now it was unable to find any active devices. So we want to switch on the scanner. Plug the scanner in. A USB port, we're using a Nikon Cool Scan 4, and you can click this button, and this should bring up the scanner. And there we go didn't have to do anything that special. The software included the drivers and we can put some film in the scanner using the SA21 negative 
Then you can click preview and start start scanning your phone. Various options along the right hand side. And depending on what scanner you have depends on what options are available. Digital ice is the one that gets rid of the scratches and greatly improves um, how good the scans look and how quick editing them will be. And if you can get hold of a manual that was recommended, there's a lot of options to play around with. And there's preferences here, lots of different options. This is a useful one, saving to disk so you don't have to manually save each one. Um, you've got different options for how you want to save it, whether it's a JPEG or a TIFF or an NEF, which is the Nikon RAW file. Um, compression options. And here's one of our images, so we select what we want. And then we just click scan. here and then we can save this and when we go and have a look where we saved it which was on the desktop we've got the image and all its grainy film filmy goodness What you want to see when you open this program is your scanner listed in this window. And it shows it's connected by USB. To install the update, you will need to do a similar thing. Uh, we've downloaded this NS402 update. We'll need to run it in the troubleshoot compatibility mode in the same way that we ran the Nikon scan installer. So troubleshoot program. The program worked in an earlier version of Windows but won't install or run now. So click next, select Windows XP, click next again, and then click test the program. This will come up and say, do you want to allow this app to make changes? So yes we do.
Is it okay to update Nikon Scan to version 4.02? Yes, yes it is. Click next and it will update a number of files. And then that's it finished. We close this, finish that, close that and then start Nikon Scan again. And here we have version 4.02. So, slightly updated. Okay, thanks for watching.